Hey guys, today we are making jackfruit tacos. This is one of our favorite easy recipes to make. They are just like carnitas. They look and feel and taste just like carnitas. Street tacos, they're easy to make. You can make them a million different ways and they're vegan. They're beautiful, they're filling and they are fun to make. So we're gonna use jackfruit as kind of the base and you can use a real whole jackfruit if you want. You wanna get ambitious like that. Super easy, we're using 20 ounce cans. You can find them at the grocery store. Drain the cans and put the jackfruit onto baking sheet. We're gonna bake at three 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so I think that's about 175 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, take them out, put them on the counter to cool for just a little bit. This is where we're gonna pull apart the pieces of jackfruit. It's pretty easy. With a couple forks, you can really get the look and feel of pulled pork. It's incredible. If you wanna save yourself five or 10 minutes of pulling these jackfruit pieces apart, and if you have a Vitamix or really any blender, I guess, throw them in and blend on the lowest speed you have for just a couple seconds. That's gonna get you that really nice pulled pork look and feel. The other nice thing about using the Vitamix is it does a really good job of pulling apart the seeds and ends, which are kind of tricky to do with two forks. You can do it, just it takes a little dexterity. We'll do two batches. You don't want to do too much here because then it'll kind of get mushy. Probably one batch per can. So we're gonna spread it out on the cookie sheet and add barbecue sauce all over. Do your best, kind of spread it around, put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Take it out and stir it around. Now we're trying to get the barbecue sauce all the way around and then spread it back out again. We're gonna put it in the put it in the oven for another 10 minutes. And while we're doing that, we can make the slaw. Two ways to make the slaw. There's the really easy way. Take some cabbage, chop it up, add a little mayo, mayonnaise. That's the quick method. The extra special method is to make it the day before. So chop up your slaw. Of course, we're using our Vitamix again. It's gonna make it really quick. Variable speed one for just a couple seconds. Uh, you might have to put the big pieces back in. But the extra special version is vinegar, sugar, green onions, and overnight in the fridge. With that last five minutes or so of making that, of making our jackfruit, we're gonna make queso. We're gonna add one cup of milk. We're using almond milk. Half a cup of almonds, half a cup of cashews, quarter cup of nutritional yeast, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, or sort of like any onion-based seasoning, and crushed red pepper to taste. We like like eight to 10 shakes per batch. One whole red bell pepper. Throw everything in, turn it up, use that soup setting, five minutes, high speed, let it go. If you don't have a Vitamix, blend it up and throw it on the stove top to sort of heat and reduce. While that queso is getting warm, we'll get our toppings ready. So avocado, green onions, a little cilantro if you're into that. And then if you timed it just right, you're gonna have slaw, queso, pulled barbecue jackfruit, ready to go all at the same time, and then the fun part. Today we're using corn tortillas. We put them on the stovetop for a minute just to kind of warm them up. Add a generous portion of that jackfruit. We're gonna put the slaw, a little bit of our queso, barbecue sauce, avocado, cilantro, and pickled onions. You can probably find these in the store. We made them super easy. They're pickled in a jar with water, sugar, and red wine vinegar. One trick to get the jackfruit to taste really crispy and even more like genuine barbecue. Use the broiler for a couple minutes to kind of get that those tops crispy, those ends. You want to get really extra crunchy onions, we thought, or we don't have a deep fryer, but deep fried avocado would make these gourmet. Mm. Guys, Jackfruit Tacos is on our weekly rotation. We make them all the time, we love them. Add them to yours, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, definitely do that, hit that bell to get notified. If you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.